what is good it is your boy pablo gray and we are back with another reaction video and um today i am on this subject of youtube censorship and this happened the day before 420 so april 19th and it just makes sense on to why my numbers have been dropping because y'all been watching but the numbers ain't been showing up they they've been censoring anybody that's been telling the truth and this is the ceo of youtube uh who happens to be part of google youtube's part of google she was a part of the original google team um susan whatever the fuck her last name is says youtube ceo susan whatever her last name is says users are using the platform during the coronavirus it started with basic information but now users want to know about life under under quarantine like exercise at home how do i fix my freezer how do i get myself a haircut that's not what the fuck the point is they're about to talk about censorship let's get to it full screen is bad boy Streaming video, of course, uh, is up across the board from Netflix to Hulu, Disney Plus, and all the rest. YouTube is seeing a big spike in views of news videos, this Bloomberg headline citing a thirst for virus updates. Uh, there are a lot of, uh, of facets to YouTube. Mis and disinformation is a problem on that platform as well. I spoke with YouTube CEO Susan Wojcicki uh, for her first interview since the pandemic really started to spread worldwide about the changes that YouTube has made to address the surge in viewership. We've served billions of impressions um, across our network. Well, Disky. <sighs> Thinking my fucking head. I'm so disappointed in you, Susan. Network that come from all the different public health organizations uh, and made sure that people understand um, what are the resources. I never thought we'd have so many videos of hand washing, for example. Um, but we've we uh, you know that's just one example. But we've served uh, so many different areas to make sure that users are getting the right information. Um, we've actually seen a 75% increase in the. Um, um, news coming from authoritative sources since the beginning of 2020. Um, so we've seen a lot of demand. What the fuck qualifies as an authoritative source? Someone with money? Or organization with money? Let me just say this. Innovation and research comes from innovators. Everyday fucking people and always has. These authoritative sources aren't nothing more than uh, somebody who had money, who put together an organization. And because they bought a bunch of people who know a certain subject, now they're an authoritative source. Fuck out my face. You doing business with these niggas. And there, um, but then we also. What does that mean? That means an, an increase in, in video views for those. Yeah, and so we talk about that as raising authoritative information. Um, but then we also talk about um, removing information that is problematic. You know, of course, anything that is medically unsubstantiated. So people saying like, take vitamin C. Um, you know, um, take turmeric. Like those are all will cure you. Um, those are the. Bitch, shut the fuck up. Nobody is saying that shit is going to cure you. I don't think nobody's saying that shit is going to cure you. But it will boost your immune system and help you fight the fucking virus. It helps you fight any virus. Boosting your immune system helps you fight any virus. But it's because she with the fucking agenda. She trying to get you, get you some needles in your fucking arm. Flagging shit like that. Bro, that's natural. I, I, that's like, bruh, I can see if somebody say, yeah, eating, eating three full meals at this time during a certain day will cure you of this. No, bro. Somebody is telling you to take something that a doctor recommends. Food. Herbs. Come on. I know y'all, bro, this is wrong. Examples of things that would be a violation of our policy. Um, anything that would go against World Health Organization recommendations would be a violation of our policy. Fuck them. 
And so remove is another really important part of our policy. So you're not just putting the truth next to the lie. You're taking the lie down. That's a pretty aggressive approach. Well, uh, I mean, we do we do remove, um, you know, across um, YouTube in non pandemic times um, information that is a violation of our policy. And that's the problem. If you spoon feeding people truth, don't that mean you kind of dictate what the truth is? One day you could you could just be like anybody who makes a video saying Hand washing is important. We getting rid of it. And we only going to allow videos that say hand washing is stupid. You got the power to do that. And it looked like you exercising that type of power. Susan. We've had community guidelines since the very beginning of YouTube. And we've always, um, anything that is a violation of our policy, we do remove it. Um, and what was really unique about, um, about this was just how fast moving the COVID-19 crisis was. And so we've had to make numerous policy changes all within a really short period of time to be able to make sure that we stayed abreast of the changes. So, um, for example, just recently there was um, a theory that um, 5G was causing... Before she even get into that dumb shit. She basically declaring martial law on YouTube, taking away your rights, your rights to freedom of speech. People can say whatever the fuck they want. It's up to you to do your research and figure out what the fuck is the truth. Don't let somebody else decide that for you. Then you become a fucking slave, bruh. That's how you become a fucking slave. Mental change. Damn, I'm getting angry. Coronavirus symptoms. Um, now, no um, established health organization says that 5G is the source of the issue. Um, and so that um, quickly, we quickly deemed that a violation of our policies uh, with. Um... I'm going to just I'm gonna say it for those who ain't here. 5G does not cause coronavirus. It caused similar symptoms in hopes to get you to the hospital to take the test to think that you have corona and then you get infected with corona because the test is tainted. COVID-19 and remove that content. Yeah, everyone's YouTube is different. Are there certain videos that basically everybody has seen because they are so important or they are from such authoritative sources? Well, we definitely saw a really high uh, click-through and all the different public health information that we made available. Um, but you know, this crisis has just moved so quickly. Um, I mean, I think that's what, the, it just the speed of it has taken away everyone's breath um, in terms of how quickly we move from just having a few infections, right, to um, you know, having large parts of the world being under quarantine. This is some shit she ain't never got to worry about because her rich ass somewhere in his big ass mansion making sure her kids ain't on YouTube and she chilling. Just saying. And, um, you know, we certainly have seen how our users have changed. So, you know, first starting with just really basic information about what was coronavirus, you know, then we really focused on the stay at home messages um, and got that. Um, and now, really interestingly, we're seeing a lot of users um, come to us and want to know about um, life under quarantine. Um, and so we see a lot of interest in things like um, exercise at home, like how do I fix my dishwasher? How do I fix my freezer? Um, how do I give myself a haircut um, when I'm in quarantine? And so we've definitely seen an evolution across our platform in um, all these different ways. Do you think this crisis has caused YouTube to change in ways that'll be long term? Mm. Well... I mean, I no, I don't really give a fuck. I'm gonna stop it right there. Shout out CNN for the clip and whoever tweeted this, whoever I, I got this from. I appreciate it. But um, what I'm gonna say is, Susan, you taking away people's rights, and I know the only reason you're doing it is because you 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 got business partners that that need to appeal to China. Because I know if, if you could show them that you're doing censorship over here, that you could do it over there. And they'll finally allow you to be over there. Because we know if they could just get a few of their users to do the same shit, to purchase and, and use Google. It's the same as everybody, including child, middle-aged, teenagers, adults, everybody in the United States purchasing and using your, using your software. 
your products. So I, I know what it really is. And it's sad that it's coming to this. We really need a YouTube alternative. And I'm going to keep saying it until we get one. And I'm going to find people who can do it. And I'm going to see what I can do to make sure I get there. But uh, yeah, man, I'm going to come up with some more uh, more videos. I'm probably about to do another one. Because I've been getting a lot of content. I really need to do this because I've been seeing it everywhere. I haven't been watching the full clip. And I'm glad I finally did. Well, the majority of it. But uh, you like these videos. Like, uh, smash that subscribe button, comment, like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell. I really do appreciate it. They're trying to censor me. Help your boy out. Appreciate it.